Vision with KO specialist T-minus and Sunshine Lollibot. Wedge of Doom takes on Wacky Compass and we take on the Wedge controversy. All this when BattleBots returns. The most advanced killer robots in the universe are here in San Francisco to lay claim to the title. Who is the deadliest bot of all? Welcome back, everybody. In case you missed it, we saw Mouser Super Mecha Catbot bat Blood Moon around like a ball of string. Hazard turned Zion into a pillar of salt, and Sabotage made Double Agent see double. We've got plenty more bot bashing where that came from. It's a call to arms. Tell us about it, Bill. You got it. T minus 10 seconds and counting. He's four for four, knocking out each of the bots he's faced. It's all about the flipping arm, which can toss a bot with the force of a Titan rocket. Sunshine Lollibot has ripped, sawed, and cut its way through its fights, including a one-punch knockout of Alabama Slammer. Andy Miller's headed to college with a scholarship in the NASA Washington Space Grant Program. The dude's gonna build rockets. For now, he settles for building a wicked robot out of a chainsaw. T-minus is a miniature Toro, small but with the heart of a huge bull. Let's take a robo probe into what Alexander Rose does when he isn't feeding steroids to robots. Alexander Rose plays with two of man's primal passions, violence in the battle box and fire in the desert, which mesmerizes fanatic fans. He wanted to build something that was uh, a musical symphony of fire, basically. So we set about building a set of about 10 flamethrower carts that could be moved around into a, a pattern and then played like a symphony, ranging from about 70 feet to 350 feet tall. Alexander used 200 gallons of pressurized kerosene to captivate the crowds of 35,000. They gathered to witness the 10-minute fire festivity in the California desert at the art gathering called Burning Man. Well, it's just the sheer size and audacity of it. I mean, you, you can feel the heat wave from the biggest cannon from two miles away. So it's a big chunk of fire. Both fire shows and the metal munching madness of BattleBots seem so similar after all. You prepare all year long for five minutes of amazing adrenaline and audience screaming. Don't build robots or big flamethrowers with that uh, good supervision. It's like Foreman versus Tyson in their prime. Two fighters with big time knockout punches. So what are we waiting for? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a BattleBots middleweight elimination contest. Introducing in the red square to my right. This is not a movie. Those are real blood stains and pieces of teeth. Watch out for T minus. This baby can flip his opponents five feet and in the air. in the blue square. She has a sunny disposition and a great big toothy smile. We dare you to try to lick Sunshine Lolly Box. Mark Vero Acapella covers ready? and his ready? own original tunes. The driver is ready. The driver, are you ready? Yes. The driver is ready. The box is locked. The lights are on. It's robot fighting time. Sunshine Lollipop's blade up to full 120 mile per hour speed. Deadly teeth coming at T minus. Look at the power of that blade. It's spinning so fast. It's like a gyroscope now. Is that going to make him easier to flip or harder to flip, Jim? I don't know. I don't know, but I know I wouldn't want to be bitten by those blades. And the blades sink into T minus. We turn it off. Stuck the landing. You got T minus flips Lollybot again. Now Lollybot's blade is digging up the battle box floor. All right, now. Sunshine Lollybot disabled. T minus flips him again. That's not it. Sunshine Lollybot being toyed with. T minus flipped himself. He's inverted. Can he get back? Here's Bill Lowe. He's trying to right himself with that powerful lifting. It's a thousand PSI rim that actuates in less than a hundredth of a second. Let's see if he can do it. I say he can. The ref oh. is counting this down. Oh. Team Mike has Three. taken out Two. Sunshine Lollibot. Give it up to Sunshine Lollibot. A nice run through this tournament, but man, Team Minus, that is a bot. Let's take a look at the replays. Boom! At least five feet in the air on his feet. Blade still spinning. 
And then another one, and Lollibot's deadly teeth digging up the battle box floor, and I think this is what debilitated that chainsaw motor. And then, flipping both of them. It's a twofer. Is it Tuesday? That was a great fight. Fun, and air, beautiful. Time, one minute, 16 seconds. The winner by a knockout, the red square, T minus. It's a knockout in one minute, 16 seconds. Bill, how about the battle stats? Battle stats tell all. T minus put the lop and lopsided with five hits to none and four flips that knocked the smile off Sunshine Lollibot's face. T minus rocks. Five fights, five. Let's go to Mission Control to hear about their latest launch. All right, T minus. You flip him the first time, he lands back on his feet. You flip him the second time, he's out. You flip him a third time. Are you sending a message to the other competitors? Yeah, I think today, once we stopped that saw, we wanted to make sure that people could see what the weapon could do, and uh, so we, we threw him around a little bit after. And he, he took a little chunk out of our wheel, so we had to make sure he paid for it. <laughs> That's all we can say. Thank you guys. All right, guys, take care. A lot of flipping going around in that fight. Yeah. Uh, one of them, it turns out, dinged my kill switch to off, and I, I could have like been driving on one side, I think, but oh well. Well, maybe next time. Yeah. Thank you. So the battle between two sluggers ends with a spectacular knockout. Coming up, defending super heavyweight champ Dissector takes on a rookie, Dawn of Destruction, who wants to bring down the curtain of night. For more information on BattleBots and how you can enter a fighting robot in a BattleBots competition, log on to BattleBots.com. We're back at the championship robot fighting capital of the world, Treasure Island in San Francisco. Now it's time for one incredible matchup. It seems like destiny that these two middleweight robots should meet in the quarterfinals. They're both rookies who've easily plowed through their opponents thus far, and of course, Bill has the details. I'm all about details. If you're a true BattleBots fan, you know that T-minus comes from Inertia Labs veterans Xander Rose and Reason Bradley, who also have Toro in the super heavy quarters. Rookie T-minus, every bit is awesome. Every fight won by knockout. T-Rex has been every bit as dominant. They have three KOs out of five fights, but Brent Regan and his son Alan don't have nearly the battle box experience that the T-minus boys have since this is their first tournament. These robots are geared up and ready to fight. Let's go down to the box. Ladies and gentlemen, BattleBots presents this middleweight quarterfinals bout. Introducing in the red square, he launches his opponents into deep space and leaves them there to rot. The countdown begins with T minus. Five KOs on his way to this match, all in less than two minutes. And in the blue square, if you think surviving the Australian Outback is a challenge, try coming back from extinction. He put the die in Dinosaur. It's T-Rex. That chassis is 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. That's good, because he might be flying. The box is locked. The lights are on. It's robot fighting time. It's a tea party. <laughs> T-minus comes out, tries to position with that flipping arm, but T-Rex wards him off. Oh! Now, see, we've seen this before. T-minus flipped himself. There we go. Flips himself back, and now he's got that lifting arm ready to go. T-Rex has got to get in there when he gets that opportunity. And T-Minus is on his back. Go! T-Rex battering T-Minus so far. Look how patient. Waiting and waiting. T-Rex with a shot to the jaw. T-Rex showing some great power. T-minus yet to do any damage at all to the deadly dinosaur. And T-Rex again. This is all T-Rex. I don't know what's the matter with T-minus right now, but this is not the T-minus we know. T-minus needs to get up underneath his opponent, but T-Rex is fending him off with that deadly mallet. Right now, it's T minus 143 Again. and counting. Wow. Let's go. T minus, we said he's knocked out every opponent thus far, but he has yet to show us anything, Bill. 
I'll tell you, I got to give it up for T-Rex right here. Unless T-Minus is having some problems with his flipper, T-Rex is keeping him at bay. was working it. It was just hit after hit after hit from T-Rex. T-Rex is spinning Spike, taking T-Minus out. We've got the victors down on the floor. So T-Minus has been knocking people out all along. It looks like you guys gave him a good wreck. Yeah, I tried to hurt him, but uh, I guess I, I didn't actually expect to knock him out, but I'm glad I did. It was an Worked excellent out. fight. Congratulations to you. We'll see you in the semis. Okay. Guys, that was a really tough match. That perhaps was the only T-Rex, the only design that really gave you guys a lot of problems. You couldn't get in close. Yeah, no, they did a very good job driving, and they kept us away from them, and uh, they finally hit us, and something came loose. So, uh, oh, really? Do you know it specifically? I think uh, I think we pulled a, a radio wire or something, because we, we saw on our transmitter that we had lost signal to the robot. So. That's tough, but you guys have a great design. I know you'll be back next season. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Good Thanks luck you in the future. Good Thank luck, you. guys. When we come back, two vets, Gamma Raptor and Mouser Super Mecha Catbot, fight to see who's moving on to the lightweight semifinal. Let's take a look at these two. Pretty easy to figure out Ravager's plan. Get under Team Minus and send him flying with his flipping arm. Team Minus is probably the most powerful flipping arm of all the middleweights. I tell you, Ravager's going to have his arm full going up against him. Let's go down to the box. Introducing, in the red square, to my right, agitating opponents more than that What's Up commercial, here is Ravager. And in the blue square, forget about Houston, Ravager's the one that's the real problem because this countdown to destruction has begun. Introducing T-Minus. The box is locked. The lights are on. It's robot fighting time. Both clip bots move immediately to the center of the box. Here's an advantage Ramsey might have in this fight. Oh, T-Minus on a beautiful one and a half by T minus. He's a longer flipping arm of Ravager. He can get there quicker. Well, as we've seen, if he does put T minus on his back, T minus is popping right back over. He's done in fact. He's over as you said. And Ravager goes right underneath him during the aerial portion of that act. So far, T-minus unable to get under that low skirt design of Ravager. So far, it's been effective. Ravager needs to get that arm down, up and down. T-minus on his back. Ravager flips. Can he right himself the way T-minus has twice already? T-minus is a compact, small design. He's able to flip himself easily. Ravager with a long arm and long body. This does not have the power. Apparently not. Ravager helpless on the battle box floor. And sure, he can reflip them, but you gotta save some of that CO2. T-minus sending a message to the other box. 
The explosive crowd favorite takes the victory spin. T-Mine is showing how he can ride himself with that incredibly efficient arm and then showing Ravenger the exit door. T-Minus' opponents better figure him out in this tournament or else he's going to get under their skirts like a midget at a cheerleader convention. Check out this fight. It's the big boys, the super heavyweights, Phantom Thrust. Our next bout features two middleweights, Short Order Chef against T-Minus. Short Order Chef got here by squeaking by Captain Insano, 23 to 22, and T-Minus took out Ravager with a quick knockout. But before we get to the fighting, we hooked up with Short Order Chef to get ourselves a home-cooked meal. Curly. Oh, my name is Jerry Curly. My name is Ben Curly. The robot is the short order chef, and I'm from the Team Bus Boys. Short order chef's gonna flip hamburgers at uh, Boomers. It's a burger place. Our team motto is grill them and kill them. Three, two, one. You. Now it's time to see if Short Order Chef makes hash out of T-minus. Introducing, in the red square, to my right, he treats his rivals the way Gallagher treats fruit, but with a way, way better sense of humor. Here is Short Order Chef. And in the blue square, Pull my finger. You'll need the extra gas to drive far, far away from the rancid rage. It's T minor. The box is locked. The lights are on. It's robot fighting time. Two flipping bots. Driving will be one key. Power will be the other. Old spots looking for position, T-minus showing off that CO2-powered flipping arm. Oh, nice, T-minus flipping. Reinverting. Team Busboy's getting in the first flip. This fight is going to be all about flipping. Acrobatics from T-minus. T-minus on the prowl. Apparently oh. having trouble getting underneath that low wind design. He got him. T wow. with the flip. The short order chef hit him right. We've seen it before. Will T minus re flip him? I'm guessing, yeah. I'm guessing he will. We almost got T minus his weakness, and that is if he gets stuck on his side. Oh, T minus delivers short order chef to the kill size. An ugly sight. Looks like a fat kid in gym trying to do push up. The pathetic chef hobbling about the battle box floor. T minus. Flip him! Yeah. Come on, T minus! Not flipping. He's going to save some CO2. Yeah. Spinning and taking the victory is Alexander Rose and T minus. T minus, another impressive victory. Check out this replay. There he is. Reflips himself. And then once he gets position, he delivers the pathetic short order chef onto the kill sauce. Now here's Carmen with Alex. So I noticed that some of the fans wanted you to flip short order chef back over again so you guys could fight some more. And you sort of like pushed him onto the blade. Yeah, we have, a, we have a lot more contests for this guy to go through, and so we've seen too many people put people back in the match. So we figured we'd push him onto the saws a bit, make some sparks, and call it a game. Great. Well, we look forward to seeing you next fight. For more information on how you can start building the next great BattleBot, check out ComedyCentral.com slash BattleBot. And we'll find you. Heavy metal noise is coming off a 58-second knockout of Blade Runner, and T-minus made short work of Short Order Chef and Ravager. Let's hook up with our fighters. Jay Johnson, heavy metal noise, Tallahassee, Florida. We want to get over across the ring as fast as possible, hit him with our spinning disc, and hopefully try to take his arm out. It's Alexander Rose, Reason Bradley. 
T minus. He's got a spinner on there and uh, looks pretty solid, and so we'll see how it goes. A spinning disc versus a flipper. Time to get it on. Introducing in the red square to my right. No, you can't turn them down so you can hear yourself think. It's heavy metal noise. The rookie going into this fight with only one of two weapons discs. And in the blue square, for him, happiness is knowing that the bills are paid, the family is safe, and your robot is splattered all over the battle box. Introducing T Minus. It's robot fighting time. Man, how can you feel good about heavy metal noise here? Oh heavy my metal God. noise. Especially now. Spins himself on his side. That one, that <laughs> one disc has got him. Get a lot guy. <laughs> but it's going to be tough to flip him. It is. Because that's a real tough profile. So this will be a very interesting, if not bizarre, fight. He's a little more intimidating now, isn't he? He's got the crazy. God, don't come near me! I'm insane! Now Heavy Metal Noise is back where he wants to be and back where T-Minus can flip him. I mean, Heavy Metal Noise is pretty unique in the fact that he doesn't have front wheels. And now with just that one spinning flywheel, he's an oddball. T-Minus taking a shot. And oh, and T-Minus flips Heavy Metal Noise up and over. Heavy Metal Noise trying to bring that deadly spinning disc to bear on T-Minus. Maybe he needs to drop on his side again and start spinning around. Oh, T-Minus is going to do it right now. Look out, Heavy Metal! Oh, boy. It's the anticipation. It's the ketchup coming out of the bottle. You don't want T-minus sneaking up behind you like that. That had to hurt. You see? And another one. Imagine being Jay Johnson right now driving a disabled bot and just watching T-minus have his way with you. Having his way in GT T-minus flipping heavy metal noise all over the battle box. Heavy metal noise doing nothing but taking it, taking a pounding. Whoa! I think on the backside of that flip, heavy metal noise actually struck T-minus. T-minus, yeah. <laughs> T-minus has got to watch out for falling box when he's having a good fight, because they just rain down the bottom. Heavy Metal Noise is still moving around the box, and T-Minus appears to be totally incapacitated, Bill. Yeah, the arm's up, not a good sign, not moving, a worse sign. This one is over! Can you believe it? That is one of the oddest finales I've seen. Take your teeth into this Taco Bell replay. Beginning of the fight, heavy metal noise unbalanced on his side. And then T-minus with one of his many flips. And then the backbreaker. T-minus gets hit with his arm up. That is it. A monster upset. T-minus goes down, and we go down to the floor. Heavy metal noise making some noise. Major upset. It was totally insane. I mean, I don't know how many times we got flipped end over end. Yeah. And, you know, we got kind of stuck a couple of times, and they just kept coming at us. And I don't know, somehow there at the end, we managed to just get them and chew them up. Some, some it's insane. I, I can't yeah. believe it. Congratulations. You're moving on. Thanks. Good luck. I appreciate it. The beginning was total domination, flipping your opponent like crispy griddle cakes. Yeah, we were doing pretty well right up until I tried to flip him right into his weapon. That was a tactical error on my part. So, so it, was, it was your opponent's weapon which got the damage? Yeah, I flipped my arm up into it, and the arm can take it when it's down, but when, when the arm is up in the air, you don't want to hit it from a side load, and I think that's what torqued it pretty good. It's been a great year. Thanks a lot. Thank you. These guys live life in the fast lane with their power tool drag racer. Hey, Xander, have you seen my skill saw? <laughs> 
<laughs> no brakes. I don't really like brakes. No steering. It's probably better to not give the rider any control at all. No problem. Reason had found this Thor 1948 pneumatic skill saw that was used by the U.S. Navy. Alexander Rose and Reason Bradley are team at Nursia Labs. And this year, they're putting the power back in power tools. That was cool. That was cool. Those boys got a need for speed and making robots bleed. Now they're up against a first-time TV bot, Trident. Luke Conley, Trident. Alexander Rose, T minus. I don't know if I'm going to have a chance. I might be airborne. We pretty much think it's going to go the full three minutes, and we'll take it there. Alexander Rose, very confident. Wouldn't you be if you were driving T minus? Gentlemen, start your motor. Introducing in the red square to my right, ground control to Major Tom. Your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Because you're about to hit blast off by T minus. That's a confident reason, Bradley, you see behind T minus, and rightfully so. And in the blue square, he's got nothing against you, per se. He just wants to beat on everyone that looks like you. Here is Trident. Luke Conley, an animatronic engineer. You can see his work in Starship Troopers. The box is locked. The lights are on. It's robot fighting time. The middle waves come out. Try Dent. Try Dent. Not the try. Green box with a lifting arm and T minus with that deadly flip. Now try Dent. What he wants to do is he wants to use that lifting arm. Because he's a cool robot's robot, he's got power. He wants to get underneath and push T-minus all over the box. I like the Trident design. Well, let's see if it works against T-minus. Oh, it didn't work there. Alexander Rose and Reason Bradley with that tried and tested flipping arm. Nothing Trident. Oh, another flip. Ready. Off the kill saw. That was well timed. Now he's riding himself. I can't believe T-minus is alive. Oh, he's not allowed anything. Sparks and flips. Final techniques and acrobatics. Man, it's like a dangerous circus. <laughs> is there some straw we can lay on the ground? Trident is being driven by Luke Conley right now. Maybe showing a little bit of uh, inexperience. Four flips by T-minus. T-minus. This robot is so phenomenal. I fear it. Try to get flipped there. This fight clearly belonging to T-minus. We've not seen anything from Trident here so far. T-minus. That's his game plan. And then, Tim, you know what he wants to do? Yeah, That's yeah. right. That was great. You called that one. Oh, Team Bite is ruling this fight. Try that. Now he's showing some power. Try that. In control for the first time. Try that. He might as well do the pulverizer. There's the first potential damage we've seen done to Team Minus throughout this fight. But it may be too late. Wily, he's agile, he's elusive, and he's got that crazy clipping arm. Alexander Rose, T minus Lewis, says if he had a last meal with someone, it would be Leonardo da Vinci. How about that? Yeah, a little, a little showing his creative side. Yeah, that, that guy's good, that Leonardo da Vinci. Did a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot going on. Look out! Helicopters flying the scene. Look out! Oh, T minus going! Try that! Against the battle box wall. Yes! Spikes into the screws. Keep the flames going. Oh, now he's just driving them. Oh, this could be it. This fight just absolutely dominated by T minus. T minus showing there's nothing as satisfying as complete domination. What do you think, Mr. Selector?
Every time Trident tried to right itself, T-minus was up in his business and making it messy. Here we go with the replays. Now, T-minus, he is just improving with each season. Flipping and flipping and flipping Trident and catching him at an especially vulnerable position right there. And right toward the end of the fight, just kissing the wall. So the judges call it 33-12, T-minus. Now let's go downstairs for post-fight comments. Trident got flipped so many times, I think the Russian judges gave him a 10. Uh, what, what went wrong there? I don't know. Actually, in the air, I thought it looked pretty good. But he's not designed to fly. This, the flying's fine. The landing part's a little rough, especially on the saws and stuff. Actually, I thought we did pretty good. I think the bot uh, shows it's well built and, uh, you know, it can take a lot of punishment. A bot that can take a lot of punishment. That's what we like to see here at BattleBots. I'm sure we'll see you again in the tournament. Oh, yeah. The demolition never ends on your favorite fight robot show. Stay tuned because TV first-timer Ringmaster wants to turn his battle with Tazbot into a circus of pain. Rob Sika, David Escott, double agent. We're going to try to push him around and uh, show him who's boss. Alexander Rose, Reason Bradley, T minus. It's invertible, and so we're just going to have to keep flipping it full three minutes until it either stops or we can get it in a place where it can't get off the wall. A powerful flipper against a double wedge. Introducing in the red square. His parents call him a mistake, his friends call him crazy. The police call him dangerous. I just call him T minus. T minus has got more power in that flipping arm, but they gotta watch out. They don't run out of CO2. And in the blue square, you only live twice unless you have a clever double wedge design and six razor sharp titanium spikes. For yours eyes only, it's Double agent! Builder Robert Sika says his greatest accomplishment is two-year-old son Francis. The box is locked, the lights are on, it's robot fighting time! Double agent with a double wedge for this fight, gonna try to get under T-minus. Can he though? Can he get under that flipping arm? I ask you! I do not know, my friend. We will see. He did not know that one. If T-minus scores a point with a flip. And then double agent drives himself right into another half flip. All right, I'm counting. That's one and a half flips. T-minus up under double agent. Nothing there, though. And you see the effectiveness of the wedge on that one. T-minus up and over double agent. A big flip from T-minus. CO2 being purged from T-minus after every flip. He's only got so many flips. I thought he looked thinner. He's purging, <laughs> huh? <laughs> now look, Double Agent wants to get behind T-minus, but how can he do it? by T minus double agent takes some grinding from the kill cloud and he is being flipped like a hot kick. Again, double agent getting nothing so far in this fight. Total domination by T minus. Alexander Rose driving flawlessly. He took a little rack from the kill stars and that's it. Well, you see double agent now inverted, so I don't know if T-minus is going to be able to get a KO because double agent has that versatility, but he certainly is racking up the points and he drives him into this fight. Same CO2 right there. There you go. <laughs> precious, precious CO2. Well, Alexander Rose with less CO2 because they cut back on one of their containers as a space-saving move. Do you see a lack of power, though, at all? No. Do you see any difference in T-minus? Not so far. He looks as good as ever. And clearly in control. Oh, and Double Agent gets a pound from the pulverizer. Double Agent. He needs a KO here. He needs something fast. Double Agent with nothing at all in this fight. About 
It's a good work, and it looks even better now that it's been inverted. In fact, it seems to be getting under two minus, but it's too late. That's it, beautiful! Good stuff, good stuff. You want good stuff? You got it. Here's the replays, and it's exactly what you'd expect from T-minus, a flip, some purging, another flip. Well, you get the point. So while Double Agent racked up the frequent flyer miles, T-minus racked up the win with a lopsided 31-14 decision. Now, I would take a victory like that and use it to score a little face time with the pit girls. You would need that. Oh, Tim, cut so deep. Stay put, because the Carnival of Carnage isn't over yet. Battle Rat takes on last season's heavyweight runner-up, Overkill, in a battle for bragging rights next. T-Minus was built to win a championship, but so far he's come up short. The guys at Inertia Labs are hoping this season is different. Dave Schultz, Huggy Bear. Alexander Rose, Reason Bradley, T-Minus. Thank goodness we got our invertibility together for T-minus, so if he flips us, we can move upside down. We're going to go in and try and get under him and flip him as high as we can and use the same kind of strategy as the other guys, flip him and flip him again and flip him again. T-minus has to stay away from that hug zone and flip him from the side. This is a middleweight quarterfinals contest. Introducing in the red square, he'll flip you so high you won't know whether to scratch your watch or wind your butt. Here is T-Minus. T-Minus armed with a special titanium spatula for this fight. And in the blue square, this robot makes the bubonic plague look like the common cold. Please welcome Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear, one of my picks to click this year, and that new invertibility is going to help him in this fight against T-Minus. The box is locked, the lights are on, it's robot fighting time. Now, how important was it that he's invertible this year? This is the perfect fight to see if he can make his way into the finals. Minus moving cautiously around the battle box, trying to position himself to the side of Huggy Bear to avoid that deadly hug. The hug zone, and it looks like T-minus is just the perfect size to get trapped in there. Oh, nice driving, and there's a huge flip by T-minus, completely inverting Huggy Bear. You said it, Bill. Yeah, a good change of design for Huggy Bear for this fight to be invertible. You know, when you're coming into this tournament, you've got to be worried about these guys from Team Inertia Labs. Look out, now. He's got him. The Huggy Bear has got T-minus where he wants him. Oh, T-minus escapes with a powerful flip. Now he's got him again. T-minus escapes again, but not until getting some damage from the kill saw. Now, I wonder if he thought, well, if he gets me trapped in the hug zone, I'll just flip myself out. Brilliant. Yeah, nice pop by T-minus, and another one! T-minus, impressing the crowd, but taking some damage from the kill saws again. So T-minus scoring points, but losing points on the hazard. I gotta say, Huggy Bear's looking like it's a pretty close fight right now. Well, not right now. Well, it looks like Huggy Bear up. Has he got anything left? I saw a little bit of movement. This may be over. He's got the hug zone going. T-minus, the crowd wants to see another flip. I think we're going to see one. I say yes. I say, I got five bucks It says we see another flip. And there it is. All right. There's the pop, and now Huggy Bear back in action. So a, a dangerous but bold move by T-minus. These guys are bold, though. There's no backing off from these guys. And T-minus back into the hug. I believe they are confident, Bill, that they can get out of it with that flipping arm. Yeah, it sure seems that way. Three times we've seen him pop right out of the hug zone with a little flip. Slow and methodical. Thus far, yeah, you would have to uh, give the advantage to T-minus clearly. 
flipped Huggy Bear several times. This thing goes to a judge's decision. You never know what's going to happen. That's it. This fight is over. That's a close one. T-minus played it safe. He played it smart. Now let's check out his strategy on the replays. Let's take a look at the replays and the awesome flipping power of T-minus. Yeah, and you can see right here, he comes in the heart of the hug zone and gives him a flip. T-minus had some big flips. Those have to score points for the judges. The judges call it 27-18 for T-minus. He heads to the middleweight semis, and now here's Tony and the boys with the bear. Dave, he might have flipped you once or twice, but he really didn't do much damage. Um, actually, I think what happened, I think he has flexed my frame a little bit. And when that happens, my, my clearance is so low, I start dragging on the ground. How do you think Yogi Bear would fare in the battle box? Not good. Last season, Hazard beat up Zion on the way to his third championship. Now Zion gets a duo. Find out if revenge will be his. Zion Hazard next. Number one middleweight seat. Hazard has never, ever lost. Here's how Hazard got here. One word, domination. He KO'd Misty the Wonderbot and Blade Runner, each in just over a minute. Against Zion, he didn't get the knockout. He only beat him 43 to two. T-minus was designed to beat Hazard. They've also added an extension to the end of the spatula so T-minus can get underneath Hazard without getting ripped up by his blade. T-minus got here by tossing and bossing around Trident, Double Agent, and Huggy Bear. Let's start it up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a middleweight semifinals matchup. Introducing in the red square. This bot is so good, so efficient, and he wins so often that, frankly, it's getting a little annoying. But you gotta hand it to the defending middleweight champion, Hazard! In that 17-0 record are 12 KOs. He does it in a big way. And his opponent in the blue square. I know these are just machines and they don't have emotions, but damn it, this one always seems to be pissed off. Here is T-minus. You gotta make modifications when you're fighting Hazard. You can see the titanium wheel guards, the extended spatula. It looked like T-minus had the flip-off glove there for the champ Hazard. The box is locked, the lights are on. It's robot fighting time. Right at one another, showing no fear. T-minus with that extended flipper. Can he get that under Hazard? Yeah, he gets under a mark. Gets under him there, look at that, one of the skirts of Hazard. It's blocked his blade. Without that blade, Hazard is not Hazard. And T-minus wins That could be it. No way. the crowd in the left hand. Amazing. Alexander Rose and Reason Bradley may have done it. May? They have done it. Unthinkable. Hazard, the king is dead. Oh, man. What? The quickest fight we've seen. What a surprise. Absolute perfect. Ingenuity. That's what beat Hazard. Two great bots giving us a great fight. Short but thrilling. Here are the replays. They come right at one another, and you can see the skirt getting caught in the blade. And here's the flip. Here it is again. Oh, it's so sweet. A knockout in 55 seconds. Who would have thunk it? Carmen's with Team Inertia Labs. T-minus, Hazard, both real crowd pleasers. How does it feel to win? Well, as an undefeated robot, he's been on our minds ever since we built T-minus. We've never had to go up against him except in a rumble before. So we put on titanium wheel guards, titanium armor, titanium arm, pretty much all just for him. Congratulations. Thank you. Your thoughts? You know, when I was fighting T-minus, I thought I was going to hit him. I thought I saw the sparks. All I needed was one good hit and take him out. But I drove right under his lifting arm, and he lifted my own wedge right into the path of my blade, and that stopped my blade. Little weight off your off your back? 
Yeah, after all this time, I feel like there's a weight that's sort of been lifted. Like, everybody's wondering who's going to beat him, who's going to beat him. And uh, now we know it's not undefeatable. It's definitely not. No robot is out here. So uh, I kind of feel good about it in a strange way. I'll leave you alone now to have a moment alone with your robot. Thank you very much. The middle wrong. For those about to box, we salute you. This matchup is for the BattleBots Middleweight Championship. Introducing in the red square, the road to the giant nut is a long one, but now it's only three minutes away for T minus. You saw Bill the Reason Bradley there. His partner Alexander Rose will be driving. And in the blue square, another first timer in the championship fight. Here is S O B. Builder Rick Schoberg and Team Sony Online Entertainment have given us an impressive display. The box is locked. The lights are on. It's the middleweight finals. Oh, this is going to be something. This could be the fight that everyone's going to want to see. The question is, can SOB scoop up T-minus and get him in that dust bag? Well, we know he did it there. And he brings that blade to bear on T-minus. Now, can he move him about? T-minus can't do anything when he's right there in the dust pan. T-minus with an impressive run to get here to the finals, beating the heretofore undefeated Hazard in the semi. Oh, and that was a fight, and this one is going to be two. Oh, watch out! Now SOB's got to make his move. Probably a little nervous. First final. SOB going to work. SOB gets oh! He's all right. I don't know. It looks like there's some damage to the dustbin there. Yeah, there is. You can see that. A bend in the pan. He might have up under, and SOP is flipped again. Will he be able to right himself? Now he's he back. Grabs him into the spikes. I don't know about you, Bill, but to me, this looks like all T-minus in this fight. Yeah, and I'm glad T-minus isn't backing off at all. I'd like to see him go at SOP one more time. Maybe pin him up against the black sand wall. Do you risk the giant nut, though? I don't know. T-minus. way in the lead right now. It's such a well-built box. Nine, no, T-minus is going seven, to play this six, safe. Five, SOP is being four, coming out. Three, we have our middleweight one, champion. It is T-minus. Congratulations to Alexander Rose and Reason Bradley. T-minus, your middleweight champion. Early on, SOB making some noise, actually trapping T-minus in the dustbin. And then when T-minus was in a little bit of trouble, he was able to rewrite himself and dominate this fight as he did so many others. Puts SOB in his place, which is second place. We'll show you our hit of the week and talk to our finalists when we get back. Well, for exclusive builder interviews, online chats with fans, and money-saving coupons on break or muffler service, log on to ComedyCentral.com slash BattleBot. It's our hit of the middleweight season. T-minus launches SOB en route to his very first championship. And that's our hit of the week. Congratulations to T-Minus and Team Inertia Labs. Finally living up to expectations. T-Minus roars into BattleBots history. Now Carmen's down in the winner's circle. Alexander, I'd like to present you with the middleweight giant nut. How does it feel? Uh, it's awesome. This guy's gone through uh, three tournaments with little things going wrong, and we wouldn't, were never able to go all the way, and finally nothing went wrong, and everything went right. So thanks to all our sponsors and our great crew, we finally got here. Does this make up for Toro not repeating? Goes a long way. At least we're going home with the giant nut once again. So that's that's great. Congratulations. 